Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a huge life change that I've recently made and why. So if you want to hear about that, keep on watching. So without further ado, let's get right into this. First, I want to give a shout out to my very much appreciated Patreon members. Thank you guys for all of your support over there on Patreon. And if you want to get to know me better and on a much more intimate level, definitely check out my Patreon. So the big change that I have decided to make in my life is to quit vaping, quit all nicotine. And I want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to when I started smoking, when I became addicted to nicotine, how it happened, all that jazz. So let's get into this. So growing up, my mom was a heavy smoker. She still is a very heavy smoker. And I want to share the full honest truth because this is my life. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I would have ever started smoking if it wasn't for my mom. But I remember one time when I was about 11 years old, she was not home, but I was bored and there was nothing to do at her house. <laughs> I love you, mom. I, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but I'm just sharing the story. And I, I was just snooping around and I went to one of her ashtrays and I picked up a cigarette butt and it looked like it was half smoked. So I thought, ooh, let me try this. So I decided to grab her lighter I didn't even know what I was doing, but, you know, I just kind of lit it and sucked in, and I coughed my butt off. <laughs> at the time, when I tried my first cigarette, I was not into it, but at the same time, I wanted to explore it more and see if there was anything else to experience about it. So at the time, I snuck in some cigarette butts and gave some to my girlfriend at the time and myself, and we snuck off and smoked our little cigarette butts at summer camp. Okay, so fast forward to 13 years old. At this point in time, I'm living with my mom because I just was not getting along with my dad and she had recently moved back to my hometown. So I moved in with her to her apartment. At the time, I was a smoker, but I would find friends to buy me the cigarettes and just people that were not my parents. And for some reason, she lived very close to the school. And guys, growing up, I was never really scared of my mom or intimidated by my mom. She was never the type of parent to be strict in any way whatsoever. And that, I think, held me back from keeping some of my habits more secret. So I would just leave my cigarettes, my pack of cigarettes, on my nightstand when I walked to school every morning. And because she lived so close to school, I would just walk back and grab them and then go hang out with my friends or, or walk down to the park or something like that. I remember distinctly one day, mind you guys, I smoked menthol cigarettes. She never smoked menthol cigarettes. But I remember one day... I came back from school and there was a brand new pack of cigarettes on my nightstand and I was confused. I wasn't happy. I was like, it felt uncomfortable. It felt like, oh gosh, why, what happened? Like, because at the time I still was not open and free with her about my cigarette addiction. So I just figured, okay, that's weird. I really didn't know, but I just grabbed them. And she was like, oh, hey, honey, I put your cigarettes. I got you a new pack of cigarettes because I took some out of your pack. And I was like, okay, thanks. Mind you guys, I'm 13 at the time. And at the time, I was very young, of course, so I didn't really understand that and understand the gravity to, like, how dangerous that could really be with my mom freely and openly buying me cigarettes at 13 years old. I'm not in any way trying to make her look bad, but I just want to share this because I've had such a strong addiction to nicotine 
ever since this point. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Hold on. Here comes another emotional thing. Mind you guys, I did give up nicotine cold turkey yesterday. So today has been a whirlwind, meaning it's been a roller coaster of emotions. And even this morning during my CB show, my webcam show, I experienced three major emotions in the course of seven minutes. I counted it. I experienced crying, anger, and worry all in seven minutes. And it was the weirdest thing ever. Guys, I was on camera and I'm just sitting there trying to be like, <laughs> you know, like just trying to keep it together when I really didn't even know what was going on or what was causing me to feel that way. And it's just another reminder and another motivation for me to really kick this habit and give up this substance of nicotine. I'm so regretful of ever picking up that cigarette butt in my mom's ashtray. I'm so regretful of that. But let me keep going with this story. From that point on, my mom started buying me cigarettes regularly. So if I had a full pack with maybe two of them smoked out of the pack, I would come home from school and have a whole new pack next to it along with that pack that's untouched. So it became this thing where I think she was, in her mind, she thought that she was doing something good for me or something that would make me happy, mainly because it was one of the only things that we shared together at the time. Like it, We didn't have anything in common at the time, and we were struggling a little bit with our relationship and getting along and I was just going out a lot and guys during this time I actually got in the most trouble I've ever gotten in in my life and it involved legal trouble but I'm gonna leave it at that but it was because I had no authority figure in my life I didn't want to deal with my dad so I was living with my mom and my mom wasn't doing anything to make sure that I was staying out of trouble and I'm sorry if this video is a little bit sh mixed up and shambled, but I, it's time for me to give up this addiction. It's time for me to give up vaping for good. It's never been something that I've been a proud of or wanted other people to know about. Part of the reason is because it's not a high vibrational activity. It's not something that people who love themselves do or partake in. So some of the reasons I've decided to give up vaping are the fact that it causes me crazy, crazy anxiety. Like, crazy anxiety. If you guys have seen those vaping commercials where the girl's like, ah, breathe in, now feel all of that anxiety, that's really what it's like. In your mind, you think that if you're stressed, you just hit your vape and it's going to take all of that away or kind of numb you in a way. But it actually does the complete opposite. It raises your blood pressure. It makes you worry about it. I'm speaking about me and how it makes me feel. Just saying. It made me feel like the littlest things were almost unattainable for me or were so intimidating. Like going into the grocery store and grabbing ingredients to make dinner. Like that was something that I would have to build myself up for. And if I wasn't vaping that day, or if I hadn't vaped so much that day, I would never have issues like that. But if I was just like chiefing on it, or like, you know, if I just went through two cartridges in the past day or two, it was a lot for me. And I do feel myself now kind of letting that fall down and fall behind. Guys, I'm struggling to even put senses together. It's honestly pretty scary. Um... I've been experiencing brain fog today because I don't have that constant fixation of hitting my vape and keeping me, like, satisfied. So I'm trying to keep myself satisfied with different projects and stuff. But I do feel, like, the anxiety. There's triggers throughout the day where I would be like, oh, where's my, where's my vape? Where's my vape? And I remember I don't have it because I actually threw it away last night. Yeah, I threw it away. I got this feeling when I was working on something where I was like, 
I am so done with this. And something in my head was telling me, if you're serious about your life and your happiness and your success, you need to make this decision right now. And that's what I did. I grabbed it. I grabbed the whole pack of cartridges that I just bought, $19, threw that thing in the trash, and then threw that trash bag in the trash can when I took Lucky out that night. <sighs> so it's very fresh still, but I'm ready for change in my life. I'm ready to meet a guy that is going to love me <laughs> and is going to be attracted to me and not look down at me for vaping. For so long, I've let vaping hold me back from doing so many different things that I've wanted to do, such as dating again and so many other things, guys. I could name them off. I mean, going shopping at the mall. Part of the reason I don't enjoy doing stuff alone is because of the amount of social anxiety that I have. But I find that if I'm not vaping or if I don't have any nicotine in my system, that social anxiety doesn't affect me whatsoever. It's almost like I realize, oh, I am just a guy, you know, I am just like everybody else trying to live my life and support myself and keep clothes on my back and a roof over my head. But before that, I would, I was such a pessimist. I would just, I would be like, oh, I look so weird or why am I so awkward? And my job is so disgusting to these people. Like, if these people only knew what I do, like, why am I thinking that? That's so hypothetical, and it's so unimportant for me to be using my brain power on whatever anybody else thinks about me, because it doesn't matter. Let's just say if somebody is rude to me on social media and sends me a nasty, hurtful message, and it hits below the belt, Usually I would reach for that vape pen and, you know, let it kind of simmer for a little bit and like think about what my response would be or what I'm going to do next. But now that I don't have that emotional crutch, which in return builds up my blood pressure and makes me even more anxious and more worrisome about the situation, now that I'm not using that crutch... I'm having to face these things and look at them from an intelligent and mature point of view rather than running away from them figuratively with the vape and letting the emotions kind of, you know, boil up until I decide what to do. I'm trying to find the best way to explain this to you guys, and I hope you're following me, but I do want to also ask you guys to send me positive vibes on this journey because I don't want to pick up that vape again. And there have been a couple times today where I've been like, okay, I might need to go buy one today because it's getting a little tough. But I'm realizing that as long as I push through these tough times and these tough stages, I'm going to get through on the other side and I'm going to feel so much better about myself than I were if I was to go and buy a new vape pen. So I'm gonna work through this brain fog and the stuttering and I just hope that I can get through on the other side, but I know I can. It's just, it's difficult in the first stages. <sighs> yes, if you guys didn't know, I did. I started smoking regularly at 12 years old and then I quit smoking at 18 years old and then started vaping regularly. So I gave up one addiction for another. And I do have to say that I did feel a lot better health-wise when I gave up smoking cigarettes. But at this point in my life now, I realize that I'm not there yet. I'm not at my peak health. I'm not treating my body as if I love it. And I do love it and I love myself, and I love the life that I'm living, and I love the goals that I have set for myself. So it's time for me to align my decisions with that so I can make my dreams become a reality. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please send me good vibes and prayers and all your positivity so I can kick this addiction in the past and just leave it there. Let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks again for watching. Give it a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.